China is demanding the U.S. drop a request for Canada to extradite a top tech executive. Now, the arrest of Meng Wanzhou has plunged Canada into a diplomatic dispute with China. But as Michael Couture reports, Ottawa has been given a big boost in support. The letter is brief, but what it lacks in length, it makes up for in consular clout. Signed by academics and former Canadian ambassadors like David Mulroney, Guy Saint-Jacques, Robert Wright and Joseph Caron, it calls on China to release Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig, saying the Canadians were building bridges. Adding their detentions, quote, send a message that this kind of constructive work is unwelcome and even risky in China. We will always uh, encourage uh, friends, allies and thoughtful people around the world to point out that Canada stands up for the rule of law and all countries should stand up for the rule of law. Even before the letter was made public, the Canadian government believed its diplomatic efforts to free the men was working. If it's a step-by-step -step process, we have made progress in that in that in that process what progress? but but well you see just in the last uh, uh, number of weeks or a uh, week or 10 days more and more countries coming forward to indicate uh, that they share Canada's view and they're they're offering indeed it does China is feeling the pressure but still not backing down during a briefing with the media, a Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson admitted, quote, it is inevitable for the current situation to inflict great impacts on the exchanges and cooperation between China and Canada. But she said, it's not China's fault. Last week, the Chinese ambassador threatened Canada could face repercussions if our lawmakers banned Huawei from competing for the development of Canada's 5G wireless network. But now, the spokesperson in Beijing has softened that stance, saying China won't interfere in the decision-making process. Innovation Minister Navdeep Bains pushed back even stronger, saying there are other companies they could consider. Ericsson. Uh, is another provider uh, as well um, and many of the telecommunication companies right have different providers so uh, that's one consideration that argument comes on the same day China announced its economy saw the slowest rate of growth in 28 years so there could now be economic pressure on the Chinese to de-escalate tensions with a potential trading partner